Greetings and welcome to this brand new jailbreak update. So guys, in this video we will talk about iOS 17.2 down to iOS 17.0 jailbreak and we will also talk about the possibility for getting a troll store installation method troll store 2 specifically for iOS 17.0 and we will also talk about the progress for dopamine 2 and the versions or devices it will support so first of all if you check out the security content for iOS 17.3 you can see that this kernel bug was fixed for iOS 17.3 so it means that it will exist on iOS 17.2 down to iOS 17.0 we are talking about this CVE specifically now the good news is that a proof of concept for this bug which was patched on iOS 17.3 has been released as you can see it right here so please if you are on iOS 17.0 through 17.2.1 please do not update now if you check out the POC which was released you can see it right here all right so it should work on iOS 17.0 through 17.2.1 and check out the code you can see that you can use this POC to simply trigger this bug and which can be developed and then it can be used in a jailbreak now guys the good news is that if this POC is developed and we get kernel read write you will get an installation method for troll store 2 for iOS 17.0 and also iOS 16.7 RC you will get a semi jailbreak for iOS 16.7 RC and 17.0 the misaka can be updated to support 16.7.4 and 17.2.1 and lower you will get a full-fledged app-based jailbreak for iOS 16.7.4 and lower and 17.2 and lower on all your A11 and lower devices. Also, please keep in mind that if you have an A15 to A17 device on iOS 17.x, which is iOS 17.2.1 and lower, this will not work because of SPTM. So guys, if you want a jailbreak, definitely do not update to iOS 16.7.5. Yes, you can use the Pelerin jailbreak on 16.7.5 and it works just fine. But if you want an app-based jailbreak, please stay on 16.7.4 and lower. Or if you have an iOS 17 device, please stay on iOS 17.2 and lower. Also, if you want the troll store 2 installation method for iOS 17.0 please stay here last but not the least guys yes dopamine 2.0 full fledged jailbreak not a semi jailbreak will be upcoming very soon and it is being worked on by opa 334 as you can see it right here and we have this updated device and iOS version table so on your A9 to A11 devices dopamine 2.0 will work from iOS 15.0 all the way through 16.6.1 and your A12 to A14 devices are supported from iOS 15.0 through 16.5.1 also please note that if you have an A15 to A16 device it will support from iOS 15.0 through 16.5 not 16.5.1 yes unfortunately dopamine 2.0 will not work on your ios 16.5.1 if you have an a15 or a16 device because an additional register is needed and it was restricted on ios 16.5.1 but it will work on all your a14 and lower devices for iOS 16.5.1 such as your iPhone 12 for example now as you can see this screenshot here dopamine 2.0 is already being tested and you can see new term is working just fine it's on iOS 16.3 and it's an iPhone 13 and if you pay attention you can see dot installed underscore dopamine so it seems like it is being tested and you can see 
that the uname a command is also working just fine without issues the progress is definitely being made and yes guys it will be a full fledged jailbreak not a semi jailbreak one more thing you can see this post here by evelyn which suggests that yes on ios 17.2 and lower we can get kernel read write which can then be used in a jailbreak that's all for this jailbreak update if i have more information to share i will definitely do it with you i will see you in a new video goodbye and take care of yourself